A lot of people were actually asking in my previous video where I talked about my complete interview experience with LinkedIn that what was the actual high level design question. So I actually prepared for this particular problem really well. So what is the there are going to be a lot of news feed actually coming up from different different news platforms. So if you also read more detailed about top key heavy hitter problem. So there are two important aspects in top key heavy hitter problem that count win sketch is a very very powerful data structure. It will be able to very easily handle the 1 million I would say event uh, coming up altogether. You have to be slightly a bit more smart in using heaps. This category of problem is one of the harder problems in a system design interview because in one hour you have to collate a lot of thoughts. Once you start solving the problem there might be some of the things that can come up which is going to technically decide how the next 40 to 45 minutes for the interview is actually going on. These are some good algorithmic problems to actually know before the interview if. So recently I gave interviews for senior software engineer role at LinkedIn and one of the interview rounds was for high level design and a lot of people were actually asking in my previous video where I talked about my complete interview experience with LinkedIn that what was the actual high level design question. So in this particular video, I'll talk about what was the question, what was the expectation of the questions and how I actually approach for the corresponding problem. So without any further ado, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I would highly recommend you guys to do subscribe to the channel because we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead here. Also, if you have not yet checked out the channel of AlgoCamp, then do check that out. We are putting some really awesome DSA content series where we are talking about a lot of interesting topics around searching, sorting, dynamic programming, graph algorithms and whatnot from absolute beginner to advanced. Do check out the channel of AlgoCamp as well. So without a further ado, let's just start. So the problem statement of LinkedIn's high level design round was one of the most frequently asked questions in LinkedIn. So this was the question that I already saw that where um, on the lead code discuss section for LinkedIn, I saw that there are a lot of community posts done where people were asked question of the same particular topic. So the topic was K heavy hitters, right? Now this is one of the most frequently asked question in LinkedIn's high level design. That second and the third most frequently asked question that I found was actually making a metric monitoring dashboard. And the third one was a rate limiting uh, engine, right? But somewhat uh, what I realized that a lot of people were actually getting this K heavy hitter problem. Uh, I'll talk about what the problem is. So I actually prepared the, for this particular problem really well. So what is the K heavy hitter problem? K heavy hitter is a generalized problem for which can be actually framed in a lot of ways. So let's say if you are given a problem where you have to prepare top K trending tweets or let's say top K trending YouTube videos, right? Or top K trending uh, music uh, options on YouTube music, etc. right? So wherever you have to list down or rank down the top K elements where you are going to get some kind of like a data stream where you are getting the counters incremented for that particular entity and you have to prepare this kind of like a top K like ranking leaderboard. This kind of like problems actually gets qualified as a top K heavy hitter problem. So the problem that I actually got was the fact that on the social media platform, there are going to be a lot of news feed actually coming up from different different news platforms. Now what's going to happen is we have to rank the top K trending news based on the user views and interaction. So we can assume that there is going to be some kind of like an interaction count that is going to technically come up and we have to prepare kind of like a list where we can list down the top K trending news feed. This was the actual problem and this much was the problem statement which was actually given. I was expected to do the complete functional requirement, non-functional requirement, complete system design and then also answer all the deep dive related questions. So I hope the overall problem statement is making sense to everybody. Now I clarified a lot of things around the problem based on the functional and the non-functional requirement. Some few key pointers that I actually was able to get clarity on was the fact that so if you also read more detailed about top key heavy hitter problem. So there are two important aspects in top key heavy hitter problem that the top key ranking that you are preparing how accurate you want to be. Because let's say there are a couple of YouTube videos. Now the YouTube videos are consistently getting more views, right? If there's like top 10 YouTube videos, then it's not like they have just got the views and it's like static. The views are constantly coming. So this list can be also changed, right? And now when we say that we have to give the top K, there is an extra element to this problem that you might have to give top K in a time frame. And 
this clarity I got from the I would say the interviewer that do we have to also respect some kind of like a time frame that we have to give the top K in the last seven days or in the last month or in the last one day or whatnot because this time window can be very important for us to understand and that's where the interviewer clarified that yes we have to respect that we will be trying to actually filter out the top K in some time frames that let's say in the last six hours in the last one day in the last seven days in the last one month how exactly you are going to get the top K. So this was kind of like the first clarity that I got. Now, the moment you know that, okay, there is going to be time frame, then what you will realize is that for bigger time frames, the problem is going to be slightly a bit more easier to solve in terms of accuracy, because you can have your data processing pipelines, which can actually process the data and you can actually decide how you are actually going to process for the top K. The more interesting aspect comes into the picture when you have to do the top K for a very small time frame for, for which you do not have a lot of time to process. For example, let's say you have to give the top K for top K in the last one minute or last two minutes. Here your processing has to be really, 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 really fast, right? So there is a trade off that do you want extremely high accuracy or do you want extremely high, um, I would say overall speed of execution. So I got this clarity confirmation from the interviewer that we do not need to care about, let's say the uh, one minute window or like very small window of let's say under five minutes or under three minutes. For now we can solve for at least an hour, one day, seven days and month. Just one interesting fact that in case you have to solve it for very small time window, there are approaches that you can use using a data structure called as count min sketch. You can read about count min sketch. Now I already prepared for the problem. So I was already aware that if the interview goes in the direction of actually computing things on a more faster way, then count min sketch can be something that can be really, really helpful. Count min sketch is a very, very powerful data structure, right? And it will, uh, it will help you to not accurately measure your top K results, but yes, it will help you to measure the results in a more faster way. I, uh, so there is not enough time in this particular video that I go into deep down of count min sketch, but wherever you have a K heavy hitter problem for a very small window, count min sketch is going to be one of the best data structures to actually start with, right? But that was not the problem in my case. So already the, I would say the complexity of the problem reduced from hard to, I would say medium because the angle of count min sketch, because generally in most of the interviews for top K heavy hitters, it's not like you have to just compute for one minute. It will be like, you have to still compute for seven days, one day, 20, uh, like one hour and also for small time windows. So you need to make sure that there is a separate processing pipeline for very fast execution. And there is a separate processing pipeline for more accurate execution, but for a larger time window. So the overall complexity of my problem actually decreased as well. Now, what all things I actually kept in mind while, while implementing the design? I made sure that initially all the functional requirements is actually working. That means every user flow that I have defined end to end throughout my system, I can actually drive my interviewer that, okay, this is how the complete flow will look like. And eventually this is where the final top K is going to be stored and we can actually fetch it from there. I ensured that all the functional requirements are working and then only I jump to the non-functional requirements, right? I made sure that whatever is the expectation for that, I do the back of the envelope, envelope calculation because it gives an idea that how much amount of scaling effort is required. For example, let's say if the overall, so, the, so for stream processing, I was actually using Kafka. So now if the overall events that we are getting is let's say under 1 million. So there was not a lot of effort required for let's say the scaling aspect of this streaming stream processing system. If we have all the partitioning and the topics done in the right way, it will be able to very easily handle the 1 million, I would say event uh, coming up altogether. So that those back of the envelope calculations really helped a lot. I made sure that I'm ensuring how exactly for different, different time windows, we are actually processing the data. Also, I made sure that I am not over complicating the design because this time window problem, you can again separately deep dive into this time window problem. But the best part about this time window problem is that using a one hour, if, if let's say you have already computed the one hour window for top K, right? Then what you can do is you can prepare top K for the last 24 hours, one hour each like a bucket and then merge the top K to get the top K for that one particular day. Then for seven days, if you have the answer, then you can merge that and get the answer for the last seven days and so on. So like you have to be slightly a bit more smart in using heaps because heap uh, based merge algorithms can be really, really helpful in order to solve this particular problem. But how you are going to maintain the heaps once you have computed, 
where you are going to actually store the data, how you are going to actually show uh, the top K to the user. All of these things were something that were really, really important. Where I want to actually dump the data, do we want to use some kind of like a time series DB in order to store these kind of like bucketed result? If yes, then what kind of like time series DB we can actually use? If let's say we have to store our process, process data in some kind of like let's say data warehouse, what kind of uh, like file storages we can actually use, right? So a lot of interesting things actually start coming into this problem. What I would say that this, this category of problem is one of the harder problems in a system design interview because in one hour you have to collate a lot of thoughts. So make sure you have already practiced these kind of like uh, questions already. Most of the time the nature of the question can be different but the overall eventual solution is gonna be mostly consistent and mostly same. So make sure you actually think through before actually uh, like practice a lot before you're around so that you are not fumbling because what i feel is that a lot of people actually know how to create a top k heavy iter solution but they are not able to concisely put things in place or have all of the elements moving solve all the functional and the non-functional requirements that they have actually mentioned so this is something that you have to definitely keep in mind Now in this particular problem, as I already mentioned that understanding your non-functional requirements early will be really very useful. Like for example, if you want to go via the path where you want to compute things really fast, but you do not want accuracy, that means you can go with approximation. That's where the count min sketch uh, part can be really, really helpful. Plus how persistent you want the data to be. Like if you just want to show the top K for the last seven days, do you need to also keep the data for like days beyond that, right? Uh, that is going to help you to understand how you can save some storages. You have to understand that uh, this particular type of a system, depending on what is the expectation, can be really important to think with respect to availability, right? The system should be highly available, right? And overall, once you start solving the problem, there might be some of the things that can come up. So make sure you do at least mention if things come up later. But I would say for a top K heavy hitter problem, understanding the non-functional requirement in the initial five to seven minutes is going to be the key So I would say, try to read about the topics around count min sketch, try to read about Kafka, how as Kafka as a stream processing system can be really, really helpful. Try to read about how you can process uh, asynchronous job, read about flink jobs, etc. Try to read about what is a parquet file, how you can use parquet file to dump some data somewhere, right? Try to read about time series data. What is a time series data? What are the some of the good databases to store time series data? The time series DB that I read uh, before the interview was time scale. Uh, so at least prepare for one time series DB altogether. So these are some of the important topics that are going to be really very helpful. Also some heap based algorithms that is how to find top K using heap, how to find top K using count win sketch based on approximation is a good algorithm to go for. How to merge the top K heaps, the merge based problems around heaps. These are some good algorithmic problems to actually know before the interview. If top K is something that the company asks very frequently, these are some of the things that you would like to prepare. So that being said, uh, let's wrap this particular video here. Do let me know if the video was helpful and do also let me know if you want to have a dedicated solution for this kind of like a problem. I can upload a dedicated uh, one or two hour long video on solving a top K heavy hitter problem. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would be really happy to answer all of them. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. We're going to meet soon in the next set of videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.